I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Who do you respect more? The guy who got shot? or the shooter. Oftentimes in hip hop, a lot of people have celebrated the shooter. Everybody wants to stop crime, but everybody loves the person doing the crime. Now my son reacted to an old clip of Fat Joe on Matt Taffa's podcast, shout out to Matt, where he was talking about when he got shot. Fat Joe calls the guy a pussy. Now I'm gonna play this clip for you guys shortly. My son posted in the comments saying, they're not gonna like this, but the truth hurts. Our culture has celebrated the shooter for too long. And as a result, we've lost so many to stupidity. When we start being honest and say most of these shooters are cowards who shoot people they fear, there's no honor in it. There's nothing manly or masculine about it. It's coward behavior and coward culture. Let's celebrate men who have emotional intelligence and the heart and bravery to face men they have conflicts with. Win, lose, or draw. Get your knuckle game up, kings. And yes, for those of you guys who can read between the lines, this is definitely a shot at Troy Ave. So what you guys think about this man, here's a clip. Put your comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later. I got shot by the biggest coward. When I got shot, the guy who shot me is pussy. <laughs> Mm. I'm not saying it because he shot me. If he was a real nigga, I'd have told you, yo, that nigga was crazy. That nigga was, he's a pussy. Right. I In order for us to change the culture, we got to start dispelling the myths. A lot of these shooters is soft. Most of the dudes that you talking about, they shot somebody and they shot this one. They soft. They shot him out of fear. They shoot you because they scared to face you man to man. It's no real tough Gangster, quote unquote, real dude that's just running around shooting. Most of them, if you, if most of the shooters, right, can't fight. They scared to face you man to man, so they want to shoot you when you're not paying attention. So when we stop praising the cowards and we stop praising, oh, he shot somebody, or oh, I seen a nigga shoot, that don't mean that you tough. It's so just like Fat Joe just said, I don't know this dude he talking about, but I know a lot of these dudes that y'all call shooters, that's pussy. They won't, they won't even have an argument. They're not going to raise your voice. They're scared to get into a, a verbal confrontation with a man. They're not going to shoot the fair one. They're not going to do nothing. But they'll shoot you in the back when you ain't paying attention. They'll shoot you from across the street. Let's stop praising the cowards. That's why I say coward culture. Because they all, oh, I'm a shooter. I'm a sh what have you done without a gun? What man to man face to face combat have you got into and you, and you, you scraped it up? You won, lost a draw, and you shook your hand. What, how would you got into a conversation with a man and you and that man was face to face and you was willing to fight and scrap and get back up? See, they, they don't talk about that. They want to say, I'm a shooter. My man got a gun. The soft niggas be shooters these days. And y'all praising the cowards because they shot somebody that wasn't paying attention. They shot somebody in the back. They shot somebody from across the street. Let's stop praising the cowards and start praising the real G's, man. The men who, first of all, know how to de-escalate. And the ones who, even if they can't de-escalate, they're willing to knuckle up like a man.